Hi, this is a refresher on how to set up student shared folders for the coming school year. Um, when you look at my screen here, on the right hand side you see the student view, on the left hand side we see a teacher view. Um, the first thing you want to do is have students create a folder and share it with you. So they're going to go into their drive and they're going to hit create and select folder and then name their folder uh, with a uniform naming structure. We generally use last name and the subject and the hour or the homeroom teacher if you need that to uh, further identify. And then say create. Once that is created, they can check it and hit the share button. And they want to share it with their teacher. with editing privileges, and then uncheck the notify people via email. Once you do that, they can say OK and send. Over here on my left hand side, I want you to notice before we um, pull that shared folder in that I have a uh, really clean looking drive. It's organized and I've set up folders already that I would like to place these shared folders in. So I'm going to look at language arts in particular. If I click on language arts, you'll see within it, I have a folder for my curriculum and then one for each one of my um, hours so that I can place the student work inside of that. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my drive is open over here and expand language arts and then click on share with me. Here's my folder that I just created as a student and shared with my teacher. I, as the teacher, I'm going to find that and share it with me, click on it, and I can either say more and move to and select my correct hour, or you can just grab it and drag it into the correct hour. So I'm going to drop it here in first hour. Once I've dropped it in a folder, it is now labeled first hour LA in my shared with me or incoming if you're using the new drive. And once it's labeled, that means it's file so you can actually remove it and it will stay put. If I go over and click on first hour now here it is still there. So I'm going to go back over here to student view and I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to create a document and it asks me right away, hey this is a shared folder, Do you, are you sure you want it in there? I'll click yes. This is a test and if I go over here on the teacher view and I tap on that shared folder, you'll see the untitled document is there. And when I open it, the student work is in that folder. No notifications, no more need to share um, individual files. They are now shared automatically through that shared folder. If you have any questions about this, please um, give me a holler through email or give me a call.